I just, I just hope you young people have to go through. I just hope you don't have to go through. Yeah. But we had two tragedies on two years. The first one was the Great Recession under Herbert Hoover. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure many, many knowledgeable people said, well, we won't have another one. But we had a drop. Yep. A big drop. It, it made a real hard It started raining in the fall, and there is a grass, very common, I can't remember the name of it, and it just sprung up, got big. Yeah. And my dad didn't have very much hay in the barn. Not near enough to put his livestock through. Yeah. The winter. And uh, he made a big haystack. He fixed up a thing that would unload a wagon of hay and put it on, on a stack. Inside and, the barn? Well, it was, it was an out, outdoor. Okay. It wasn't inside. Okay. But it got us through. Another thing that helped was they made fodder. Corn didn't have any ears on it. And they made Shorty and Cliff were young guys. Yeah. And Dad went down where the farm went into the pasture, and the creek went through the pasture, and uh, Dad there was a ditch within it. And Dad remembered that somebody, maybe his father. Yeah. Somebody made a corn cutter. You pull with a horse. One horse pulled that corn cutter and it had wings. Like that sticking out. Yeah. They folded up. And then when you were ready to cut corn, you folded them down. Yeah. 
you had to sit there and yell to the horse what to do and make shocks. And they did that for other people. They made quite a bunch of them for Wayne and Kayla. Now, would that have been a powered binder? No. Old-fashioned. Okay. Before they had a binder. Yeah. It had those wings. And when they went down the road, they folded them up. Yeah. And then when they got to the cornfield, they put them down. Oh, okay. And they cut two rows at a, at a time, one row on each side. And I didn't know who all they worked for, but they worked for some other people. Yeah. And got paid five dollars a shop. Boy, that would have been quite a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It'd well, it had been a lot for those days. That's why I have said a good many times, I hope they never see. We well, had a Great Depression. Yeah. Political depression. And the next year, we didn't raise anything. Yeah. And that made a hard time. Well, that's, um, that's the other question I wanted to ask you about. I know we started talking because, you know, I was telling you how you know, some of our people went to Taiwan and escalated the relationships with China and they shot missiles into the water and Russia's at war with Ukraine and and there's conflict, you know, with Israel and Iran and North Korea is... And you know, my question is what happens if it does? What do you, you know... What would you suggest to future generations if that situation comes back again? We will have to go back to old machinery. Yeah. Like, like they did when I was young. Yeah. Yeah, they they made corn cutters that cut fodder good. Yep. Only it was slow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're predicting, you know, possibly a global recession, which would be potentially a globalized depression, you know, where the whole planet would go through something like that. Yeah. And I just hope that your people don't have to go through that. Yeah. Because what would you do for chicken houses? Everybody had a chicken house. Yep. And some of them weren't very big, but they held, it, held it enough to make room for a bunch of hens yep. to lay eggs. Yep. Yeah. So people were very self-sufficient during that time, weren't they? Absolutely, and that's what they'd have to do again. Yep, become self-sufficient, you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and people could learn how to do that if they needed to, I suppose. 
I don't think they did. They might, well, they could make a corn cutter. Yeah. Corn fodder cutter. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they wouldn't be hard to, to make. Yeah. With today's equipment. I think I got one. It's called a mower conditioner. I'd try cutting corn with that if I had to. Yeah. But uh, my guess is agriculture would adapt pretty fast, only like we started talking, my concern as right now and today is that if you go buy a part for a piece of farm machinery, it says made in China on it. And that's a bit of a concern, but I guess we're good at fixing things, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> or at least you always have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope that doesn't happen either, but... I sure hope it doesn't, because the country is bigger and the economy is bigger more vulnerable. Yep. Yep. I, I, it is really slowed down. Yeah. It sure would, yep. These people with big cow herds, I don't know what they do. Yeah. Wouldn't have any way to make Hey. That's already, right now, the case in Texas. The drought's been so bad that they don't have enough hay to uh, feed. So, anyway. And it's been dry here since the 14th of July. I'm expecting them to release the CRP here by the end of the month for emergency hay and graze. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, Grandpa, it's time for dinner, so I don't want to keep you too long. <laughs> Tori's got a nice dinner here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need to eat. So when those nurses come, I'm available. You betcha. Yeah. Well, I'll shut this off then, and we can have dinner.